Hi everyone, I'm Emily from Queen of the Wilson Household, and today I want to talk to you about my entryway. It's right here behind me. Um, about a year ago, I painted it this blue color because I felt like that would help make a statement in the um, room, but everyone who has come over has thought that it is purple. So I obviously chose a wrong shade of blue for it to work. Um, I like to refer to it as blurple because it's kind of a blue purple. And I lived with it for about a year. I tried to see if it would grow on me and if I would end up liking it, but um, I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and paint it. Another thing that I noticed here is that it really didn't work with, there's three doorways and that the three white doors kind of broke up the blue and it just didn't, um, wasn't a good flow. And then the other thing that doesn't work is it's really hard to find things to decorate the wall with that go with the blue really well. So I am going to go ahead and put a coat of primer on it and then I'm going to paint it a really neutral color and I'll show you the after. Okay everyone, here is my completed entryway. I think it looks a lot brighter and bigger and the space flows a lot better with the lighter wall color. Um, what I did use on the wall color was actually some leftover paint from another room that we had painted, and it is by Valspar. The name of the paint is Cream in My Coffee. So it took one coat of primer and then two coats of paint, three coats in some places where I used the paintbrush. Um, so it was a lot of work, but at least it was a small space. I put a few things on the wall. This is actually an old frame that was my grandmother's and it was in her attic. I had used it in my son's bedroom, but when we moved him to a different room, I decided not to use it and I felt like it looked well, looked pretty good in this space and then I used this wall vase um, that I had got gotten a few years ago. And I put that inside the frame because I felt like it kind of went together and um, then put some faux flowers in the vase. and. To me, it kind of has a little bit of a fixer-upper look. If you follow that show on HGTV, um, Joanna Gaines, she likes to use older elements and things that are 3D on the wall rather than just flat pictures hanging up. So I was kind of proud of myself for doing that. And then um, the rest of the entryway down here, I didn't do anything on the walls here. It's kind of a smaller space anyways and people don't go back there, so I just felt like to keep it less cluttered, I would just keep it clear of anything. But I did add a little bit over on this side of the entryway. The top two frames are frames that I've had for a while, and I painted the white one years ago, and I just took some scrapbook paper and cut them down to size and put them inside. I liked the colors and the patterns on these. Um, I got them from Michaels. If you are ever looking for cheap scrapbook paper, the place to go is Michaels because they often have it on sale for six for one dollar for the 12 by 12 sheets, which equals 16 cents a sheet. And I have not seen it cheaper anywhere else. So um, I just put those in there. I may end up putting some kind of a printable in the center of one of them or both of them, you know, like home sweet home or something like that. But we'll see. For now, I just like the colors and the pattern. And then down below is a little picture that my mom had had for years in her house, and she gave it to me and to use in my son's nursery. And I had used it in there, but we were ready for something new. So I brought it out here because I felt like it went well with the blue in the scrapbook paper. And now instead of crazy blue walls, I just have little touches of blue in the entryway. And I like that much better. I think it's a calmer entrance to our home and um, it just, it flows a lot better with the rest of our home. So that's it. Thanks for watching.